So you have an RV and you want to get out and enjoy the day. You got a dog, but he's not invited. Most of us want to keep an eye on things when we're gone. So I'm going to show you a really cheap, easy, and super effective way to do that. Well, here's a really easy way to put a camera into your RV or your home for that matter. The prerequisite, of course, is that you have a network, not just to your RV, but a remote network in which you can access from anywhere. And uh, while there are certain products, for example, the Google Nest camera, those products are really expensive. Uh, their cameras are in excess of $100. I have right here a Wise camera. These things are ridiculous. Uh, this is the version 3. It's indoor, outdoor. It's $20. Two zero. Twenty dollars. There's no extra hub. There's no extra hardware. They give you a small five-foot USB cord, an adapter, this gimbal stand. You can even unscrew it and put a quarter twenty thread in there if you want to mount it to a tripod, for example. They give you a couple adapters to screw it on the wall or a magnet adapter if you want to stick it on something. $20. Uh, it has good audio. It's full feature. The app works great. I've used several different apps for different cameras and to be honest with you, um, this is up there with the best. It has sense aware so you can detect movement. It is a, um, a what they call a plus subscription and it, you know it's fairly inexpensive. It costs a couple bucks per camera per month. So um, this is pretty neat and you just set it up, you lock it on to your network of your RV and then you can check in on your pup and we've used it a couple times now. It works great. Uh, the resolution is, is 1080. Um, so it's not super, super, super high quality, it's certainly not 4K, but we're not shooting cinematic photos with this thing. We're just basically using it to check in. Um, the resolution is perfectly fine. The dynamics to be able to handle the bright lights uh, and the darks inside works great. And you can use it for all sorts of things. You can keep an eye on uh, things just for security reasons or the outdoors for uh, varmints and creatures. Uh, has great, great nighttime capabilities. The color vision for nighttime on these actually surpasses the infrared if you have enough ambient light. If you don't have enough ambient light outside, well then all bets are off. You need to switch over to the infrared, which is it's really good. So I suggest you pick one of these up. It just, you know, for $20, give me a break. Um, you can't beat it. And it gives you a little bit of peace of mind uh, to keep an eye on things. For example, when you're going out for a warm summer day and you're concerned with uh, the power going out in your RV, um, or the air conditioning not functioning for some reason, these can come in handy. Certainly to check on the power status. When this goes blank, you know you have a problem. You can look at things like, like I will point this at a, you can go real cheap on this and have a thermometer. And people wonder how do you, how do you set up sophisticated monitoring for your pet for, for temperature? Well, guess what? A simple digital thermometer that you can buy just about anywhere, probably Amazon, you can probably buy it for a couple bucks. Put this in there with a digital thermometer and you point that at the digital thermometer and you can also, it's wide enough angle where you could see your dog or cat if you are, or even if you travel with a parrot, whatever. You can look at the temperature as well as your pet all in one shot. How easy is that? So really good way, safety um, item. We've worried about our dog many times when we're going out and it's 90 to 100 degrees and we've come back and uh, the RV isn't quite as cool as we would have liked it to have been and then this would have come in handy if we'd had one of these. So there you go. The Wise version 3 is $20. Now I will say there's a caveat to this. They are tremendously backloaded with their orders. 
right now Wise is only selling the V3 camera if you buy the Plus subscription. I'm sure that will change in time when the chips start to get in better supply. But for right now, even still, I picked this up for, I believe it was 30, it was either 35 or $39. Um, and that included the year-long subscription for their Plus, which was, for me, a no-brainer coming from the Nest side of things. So uh, there you go. There you have it. Good luck, and keep an eye on things.